been frozen out. Facing an extinction level event. We don't fight this fight right now. You're not going to have black on you. All right, folks, today Target announced that it will spend more than $2 billion, $2 billion, y'all, uh, on black-owned businesses by 2025. Hmm, sounds great, huh? Uh, in their announcement, uh, they announced that uh, in a number of areas, how they're going to uh, spend those resources. Uh, let's walk it through. They're going to increase the number of products from black-owned businesses to more than 500 across uh, stores and online, spend more with black-owned companies, including marketing agencies, construction companies, facilities, maintenance providers, and others. Establish new resources, including Ford Founders, a program designed to engage with black entrepreneurs early in their startup journey and help them grow and scale their businesses in mass retail. Ford Founders was built on the success of our Target Accelerators program and co-created with black entrepreneurs from its advisory council. Okay. Now, first of all, let's be clear here. Target is making this announcement on the heels of Byron Allen and me and others signing a letter um, targeting numerous companies when it came to um, black adverti black owned advertising agencies. So this announcement wasn't minority businesses. It wasn't people of color. It was black owned businesses. But I have a few questions and I asked Target this, these questions and I've yet to get answers to them. If the decision is to spend $2 billion with black owned businesses, by 2025, I'm curious how much is being spent now? What's the supply chain? How much is actually being spent with black suppliers? How much is actually being spent right now with black owned agencies? How much is actually being spent? See, if you're going to get to 2 billion in four years, that means that you're at a certain number right now, let me show you how major this is. Go to my computer, please. This is from Yahoo Finance. Uh, this is, I'm going to show you the numbers, folks, um, for Target. And it's, and it's important for you to understand the numbers. See, a lot of times what happens is we, we get caught up in these conversations and Folks get enticed by who? Two billion. Well, here's the issue. The market cap for Target, Robert, is one hundred and one billion dollars. One hundred and one billion dollars. The stock price of Target is two hundred and four dollars and forty five cents. That's where it closed. That's the numbers right there. When you look at the sales of Target, you look at the money uh, that they generate, all those different things. So, again, on the surface, Robert, $2 billion sounds like a lot, and it is. But when you say for all black-owned businesses, now we're talking about the Target supply chain. Now we're talking about black-owned media company. Target spends $1.75 billion dollars on marketing alone every single year. I'm curious to know how much of the existing dollars are going to black owned businesses. What is your number now? What do you want your number to be? I want to know what does that two billion represent? What's the percentage of that two billion dollars? Is that two percent? Three percent? Four percent? Five percent? Eight? Ten percent? So again, Two billion is a big number, but the question still begs: Target, are we getting our fair share? Because we know a lot of black folks who love shopping in Target. Well, well to your point, when I, since the uh, Revolution Summer last year of 2020, we've heard many corporations announce all the programs they're going to have for the black community and to support black businesses. But it, it, at the end of the day, the question is, where does the money reside? Uh, because we haven't seen a lot of this stuff actually hitting the streets and making effects on people's lives. It's a little bit like when you see an NFL contract. They say, well, Patrick Mahomes has a 10-year, $500 million contract. They say, well, how much of that is he to get in? Like a quarter of it. 
so we can't just get seduced by the the number overall. We have to ensure that it's actually getting to the people who need it and hitting the streets properly, um, because there are many yo uh, young African American entrepreneurs out there uh, who need access to markets. We're having our, of course, African American farmers call that we do every month with Rainbow Push tomorrow. Um, people can email me at uh to be involved in that. But how are you working with Black farmers to uh, feed your soup uh, to feed your grocery aisles? How are you working with uh, with Black owned uh, 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 package goods and uh, and other types of retail goods uh, in order to uh, support their businesses. And wh uh, how do people get access to this? When are you going to explain how do people apply for it? Or do you just go to the Target website and type in black and then some money gets, uh, goes to your cash app? Or is there like a uh, another portal that's going to be created? So they're going to have to weed out the details in order for people to fully understand so that we can know that this is not just another shell game where we move numbers around, take some pictures, send out a press release, and then nothing really changes. See, the thing for me here, um, the thing for me here, um, Monique, and why we're challenging these companies is because, see, I want to know where you are today and then where we're going to be in four years. See, so it's great to make these announcements. And, and, and I'm very used to companies making announcements, getting a, oh, man, y'all doing great. Folks sitting here, you know, congratulating on social media, but it still comes down to fair share. It still comes, still comes down to sure it's two billion, but if that two billion still represents three percent of the dollars, that means that we still are not getting our fair share. This is why we call it Black Economic Social Justice. Well, absolutely, and the gap is so wide, frankly. Um, that it enables the type of um, performative shows that we see. And I'm not sloughing off billions of dollars in saying that it's nothing because I, I can't say that it's insignificant. But to your point, what often happens is they throw at a problem the money they can afford to lose and, and what they were giving before that, they make that back before they've even figured out a way to successfully give it out. So when they call themselves digging deeper, it really just means that they're making the slightest of commitments that would have any effect whatsoever on their bottom line. So you, Byron Allen, that same group that went to GM about the media ought to sign a letter. You late. Some of you, all of you. You late. To, to, huh? Say so what? You're late. What do you mean I'm late? Target, is, uh, Target has already been sent a letter. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay, so you've sent the letter. I, I said you're late. And either when you got the meeting or when you get the meeting, there are only two issues that ought to be on the table. Metrics and the game plan. Tell me what the game plan is and the metrics that you talked about vis-a-vis, -vis, what are you doing now versus what this is going to do, and what does this $2 billion represent, right? They ought to have that now versus once they issue the press release, and you ought to press and stress them on that so that it can make a meaningful difference, just like with Major League Baseball, right? This $50 million you were talking about earlier, it ain't a whole lot of black people that watch baseball. It ain't a whole lot of black people that go to these baseball games. It's expensive going to the All-Star game. Where are these black businesses getting 50 million? And before you, before they pulled the All-Star game, how come they weren't promoting their touting that 50 million of the 100 million were going to black people? Because I don't think they could ever meet that metric. If you ask me, who's getting it? Employees, vendors selling hot dogs, those out there selling t-shirts out and around the outskirts of all, the All-Star. And so metrics, game plan, metrics, Game plan. Well, that's, that's all that matters. That, right. That's what we do. And that's why I said, yeah. that's why the moment I got the press release today, I sent them an email saying, I want answers to these questions because, again, $2 billion, it looks great, but maybe the number actually should be $10 billion. Yeah. So I'm not going to get exactly. excited by $2 billion when the real number should be $10 billion. That means that I'm leaving $8 billion on the table. Nah. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. You asking for reality. That's what I'm they saying. Need rhetoric, I'm, you need reality. I'm still not satisfied. Uh, well, but see, can I? I just can I interject? 
this one thing that I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, he didn't go to you. He needs to move on. And see, I was about to say Go. something very, very kind about Scott and his lane as managing partner because there are so few black men who have done that job with excellence. And when he's talking about these things, you're listening to someone who has functioned for decades, not just as successful lawyer, you know, trial lawyering and handling clients, but who manages high levels of finances in coming up with bottom line after bottom line for businesses and understanding how those decisions are made. And so I just think as black folks, if we would cross pollinate cross-pollinate within our set and pull people in who know how to get certain things done, we would be much better off. Well, but the, but the thing, though, is we'll be much better off also when black people would not accept uh, uh, less than what is deserved. And that's the key. You, and so have what, to, you have to know how to have that conversation. No, 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 I understand that. But see, part, the, yeah. but see, part of the problem is that because we typically have gotten less, what they'll do is they'll try to pick black folks off by offering a little bit more. We're like, oh, my God, we get a little bit more. No, no, yeah. actually, you could have got four the times crumb. that amount, but you actually so accepted the crumbs. crumbs. No, mm -hmm. I don't want the crumbs. I need the whole entree. Right. That's what I'm looking for. So that's my deal. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.